Hello folks, I'm Andrea in the Azzurro 2 Lima Sierra Charlie and uh, I want to show you my new antenna analyzer, the Regafter AA200. So we can take a look inside the box. Here we have the user's manual and uh, the USB cable the power supply uh, also useful for charge the, the analyzer and of course we have the analyzer in a in a bag this is the analyzer oh, on the bottom part of the analyzer we have the connection for the power supply or battery charger we have the connection for the USB port and uh, the button to power on and power off the analyzer so press the button to power on and now we have the main menu we have uh, the option for settings, option 1 for help, 2 for set frequency, 3 for set range, PC mode, strand for SWR, strand for RX, show SWR, multi SWR and show all. So now uh, I'm going to connect uh, my antenna to the analyzer to show you how it's simple to obtain uh, graphs and also to check the resonant frequency of, of the antenna. So the most useful uh, function is uh, the function number 4 scan for SWR so hit uh, the 4 then we can uh, hit uh, 0 and zero again to have an overview on on the wall band so number three all can hit uh, okay and now we have some graphs about the resonance well this is the big picture so we need to go deeper and analyze band per band so for example we can do it hitting zero and then we want to check uh, uh, 30 meters so number four and then okay so you can see that uh, the SWR is very low we can zoom out increasing the range okay here we are this is the resonant well the SWR graph about uh, uh, 10 megahertz now we can go to the menu and the scan for RX that is a number 5 just press OK and here we have the value of R and X as you can see the X on the central frequency is uh, 0 that means that the antenna is resonant on that frequency and uh, the R part is uh, about uh, 50 ohm we can have a num numerical view of this just going back to menu and hitting 8 show all press ok so this is the result so the SWR is uh, 
1.12 and uh, the Z is uh, 55.5 ohms and uh, the H part is uh, 2.1 ohms A useful function uh, for tuning uh, the, for example, multiband antenna is uh, multi SWR. So, function seven. Here we have uh, we have uh, five bands, and uh, we can check the SWR on these five bands in uh, one time. So, ju just hitting OK. So we have the resonant frequency of the antenna on on uh, on five bands. We can uh, check for the SWR on a specific frequency. So number seven. Let's press OK. So this is the SWR on uh, ten megahertz. We can change. We can set the new frequency. So frequency set. For example, on fourteen and one fifty. Let's press OK. And now we have. SWR on this specific frequency. I have some trouble with the antenna for the 18 megahertz. As you can see, the SWR is 1.9 or 2. We can check why if if the resonant frequency is lower on or higher. So, just back to the menu uh, scan for SWR and let's draw the graph so as you can see actually the resonant frequency is around here so the antenna is not uh, tuned is not <laughs> well tuned is a little longer and this is the resonant frequency so I need to tune the antenna to make it better on the 18 megahertz we can go deeper and check and check the value of uh, uh, resistance So as you can see, the Z component is uh, not uh, 50, and we have also a quite big X component. So <laughs> I need indeed to tune this antenna in, in a better way. We can save the result of the graph to transfer in a second. Uh, time on the PC and so that we can perform a better analysis it's a very simple operation just hit save ok to save we need to enter a name I enter for example 1.8 hit again ok and now uh, the graph and all the measurement are saved on the internal memory of the analyzer and then in the next video I will show you how to uh, transfer the, the graphs saved to the PC and how you can work with the graph on, on your PC 
So for now that's all, thank you for your attention and uh, see you next time with the second part of, uh, of the video. 73